bubble starting tomorrow. The Nets Garrett Temple is the vice president for the Players Association. He'll be making the trip but says he doesn't expect it to be a comfortable experience for players. It's no way to be comfortable when you think about how far you where you're going to be for the amount of time you're going to be there and the restrictions that you have there. We will have to adapt and uh, you know we're going to get tired of it. Um, but in no way, shape or form will, will anybody honestly be comfortable, uh, whether it be on the court or off the court, uh, during leisure time or not. Malika Andrews joins us from inside the bubble, and Jay Will is back with us here. And Malika, let's start with you. You spoke with Garrett Temple. Let's talk a little bit more about his feelings and those of maybe others you've talked to who are approaching this with some trepidation. Yeah, I mean, when I spoke to Garrett Temple on Sunday, he told me that a nervous anxiousness sums up how he's feeling about going into the bubble. And that's just because he wants to see what it's like. There is so much unknown here for these players, Greeny. And he did say that he thought very briefly about potentially not playing, but ultimately decided both from a basketball, just career standpoint, and then also from a magnifying social justice issues going on in the country standpoint, the best decision for him was to go to Orlando and play. But he was very clear. He didn't want to conflate that confidence in his decision to go to Orlando with uh, some sort of comfort in being in the bubble. And this is very similar to what we heard J.J. Reddick say the other day just about he's confident in his decision to play, but also there is so much going on from a health standpoint, from a social justice standpoint, an election coming up that he just doesn't feel a, a <laughs> sense of calm heading into the bubble. Jay Will, for the players that you have talking to, and obviously you have so many relationships around the league, what are you hearing from players as they get set to go down there this week? Exactly that, Greena, that Malika just said. Um, it, it's, you know, people are anxious. There is a lot of unknowns here. And look, in reality, and I, I know that people say, hey, they go to their, every single, their jobs every single day and they're forced to be in that. We are sending uh, you know, 100 of our top athletes down to a spot that has gone up 178%. In the last two weeks in Florida, so you know people are concerned with that, and it, obviously I, I think that that changes depending upon what you know. You heard about Mike Trout obviously having his kid. Uh, that's obviously in baseball, but in all sports, I think you have all these athletes that are trying to weigh out. You know, with all these things with social justice, with playing and earning potential. Uh, with respective leagues, but also, you know, what they're leaving at home and how do you balance that? I think it's a decision everybody, not just athletes, people in general are struggling with. Of course. Uh, you know, Malika, if there's one question that I feel like I get a lot just from people um, in the street or, or whatever it might be is, what is life like in the bubble? What is it going to be like for these players? <laughs> well, you can actually answer that. You are in the bubble. Can you give us a sense of what it is like for you right now? Yeah, Greeny. So I've been in the bubble officially since Thursday in Orlando since last Monday. And now that I have registered seven negative coronavirus tests, I've been tested every day. My quarantine is supposed to be lifted uh, a little bit later today. And essentially what it's been like for me the last couple of days since I've actually gotten to the bubble campus is I, I haven't left my hotel room save for the one time a day I get to go and get tested. So my meals are actually delivered to my door every day at 8 a.m., noon, and 6 p.m. Uh, someone knocks on the door. I wait a couple of seconds to open it so everything is hands-free, contact-free, and that's how I get my food every day. And so I've been wearing this green bracelet since I got officially into the bubble, and today, now that my quarantine is scheduled to be lifted, I will trade in that bracelet for an aura ring, which is uh, the ring that detects early symptoms of coronavirus that players are also going to be wearing. And I will also get uh, a device that beeps if I get within six feet of another person in the bubble to maintain that social distance. So, so far, I, I've really been confined to the room, but it's been an interesting experience. And is that similar to the experience that players are going to have? When they get there, will they have that similar quarantine to begin? Yeah, that's exactly what players are going to go through. Now, because wow. I flew commercially, my quarantine lasted for a total of a week. Their quarantine will last two days while they register two negative tests. But yes, they will also be subject to room quarantine. Their meals will also be delivered to their door in a similar fashion. Um, they will also be given all the same, that gear that detects early symptoms. So it's very similar to what players are going to be going through in just a couple days. And so, Jay, well, the expectations are players are going to adhere to this closely as Malika is and many will. Would you expect 
all of the play. Look, if this thing is going to work, it, it is going to require everyone being on board with it. Would you expect that from the players? I, I would hope so, but I, I also would, would say this and play devil's advocate. Um, your personal data, Greeny, is the biggest currency there is on this planet. So by wearing an aura ring, I, I hear what the overall concept is, and it does work. But you're also relinquishing all that data to teams and to the NBA. Uh, now, ultimately, that's going to be a, a major question that we're going to have to talk about down the line. How could this ultimately affect contracts, uh, negotiation of contracts? There's a deeper dive here that's going to be significant conversation as it relates to data in these rings that the NBA is going to collect over the span of time that they're going to be in the bubble. This might be a new thing as well. Yes, I've read about that, and clearly that's something, an issue that they will have to deal with at the Players Association, and we will see. But for the time being, that's what we're doing. Malika, so great. Thank you. Let, let's do this regularly because I think fans are fascinated to hear what it is Absolutely. like inside of that bubble.